sun was beating down hard in Jerusalem. And you can almost see the flies buzzing around. And you can feel the sweat dripping off of your brow. And you can, as you walk through the streets, you can feel the dust. You can almost taste it in your mouth. As you look around, you hear the crowd. There's a stir in the crowd. There's a bunch of movement. Over here is a group of people, and over here is a group of people. And it seems that they're hearing something's going on, something like a parade. And you can hear a noise. You can hear yelling of the Roman soldiers, and you can hear the sound of chains, and you can hear the sound of something being dragged through the ground. And so as we gather with the crowd, we get over by the road there. They call it the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross is what they call it. And they get over by that road and they, they stand there. Everyone, we congregate together as we watch three men with soldiers around them. The two guys in the front cursing and stammering and s- struggling with the crosses that they're carrying. And then in the back, we see one that's beaten almost beyond recognition. We see the blood streaming down his uh, body and dripping off into the dust. We see him staggering under the load of the cross that he's carrying and he can't seem to, can't seem to lift it very long and suddenly we look over in the crowd, a Roman soldier hollers and he yells at a fella, grabs him from the crowd and says, you carry the cross and we see this man come over, Simon the Cyrene, and he comes over and he shoulders the cross. I don't know, I can almost see just for a, a minute a pause in the whole the whole movement of the, the uh, parade it stops for a little bit. And this guy shrugs the, sho- the cross off of Jesus' shoulder onto his. And Jesus stands there kind of with his hands on the cross and kind of walks along beside it, maybe staggering just a bit. His body was beaten and bruised almost beyond recognition. We see him as he gets closer to, the, to, to Calvary. It's a long road, that Via Dolorosa. It's a long road. And every step he took, he knew exactly what was going to face him at the end of that road. As the cross is laid down in the dirt, you can see them drop the cross. The dust rises up and they take Jesus and completely without ceremony, without carefulness, they throw his body already broken and bruised onto the cross and they take the nails and they put the nails through the palms of his hands and they... They hammer them in and you can hear the sound of the Roman soldier's hammer as it goes through the flesh and crunches in and besides the bones, it doesn't break the bones and you can, you can see the pain and the flinching of the fingers as Jesus' body lays there struggling and the raw muscles in his back. You can almost feel the, the pain of the splinters in, sticking into his body and then the cross is lifted and it's dropped into... A hole, and when that's dropped into the hole, every bone in his body, according to the scriptures, is loosed from its joint. He can't even he can't even lift himself up and try to get oxygen. They tell us that crucifixion is death by asphyxiation more than by shed blood, because they would uh, try to lift their feet up and try to grab the air and try to keep. It, but as they'd hang down, the airwaves would be cut off. But his feet were nailed to the cross, so he couldn't lift up at all, and he's trying desperately to get air. People walk by and mock him and spit on him. The angels in heaven paused. The entire universe stopped in its tracks and watched. Can you imagine the silence that was in heaven? A horror swept through the ranks of the angel bodies. Realizing that that human form of God, that representation of God, was being abused by His creation, whom He was dying for.